So making yourself comfortable, please. And so our topic today was self-compassion. So today, the practice that we're going to do is the reign of self-compassion. Support yourself in whatever way works for you. So whether you'd like to sit or lie down or even stand. Adjusting your posture so you're feeling comfortable, relaxed, and at ease. And of course, alert and awake. You're welcome to close your eyes or have a downward gaze. Look into the distance. Whatever works for you. Allow yourself to relax into your body, centering yourself with the next few breaths, breathing in deeply. Exhaling a slow, even breath for a sense of letting go, letting go, letting go, like my teacher says. And then allowing the breath to come back into a natural rhythm. Being aware of your energy in this moment. You may take a moment to scan through your body and sense what might want to let go and release tension. Softening your eyes. And thinking of something that brings a smile to your lips. It could be the image of a flower or whatever evokes a gentle smile for you. And the sense of joy you feel imagining it. And then send this smile out to the rest of your body. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears to relax. Allow your chest to open to the breath and your belly to soften on the out breath. Widening your awareness so you can feel your entire body breathing. I'd like to invite you to scan through your life and notice if there's a repeating situation going on that brings up emotional reactivity, self-judgment, 
and somewhere you turn on yourself. Does it feel like self-aversion or that critical voice that takes over? Scanning and looking for that moment where you might be turning on yourself. Avoid anything that might be linked in with trauma because it won't serve you so well during today's short meditation. So maybe something to do with the relationship with others. Something to do with your habits or your health. Something to do with work. Recall a situation that most illustrates something where feelings of self-judgment came up. And bringing your attention to visualizing where you are when it's happening. Almost as if you're watching the interaction from the outside, witnessing it. If someone else is present, what expression do they have? If they're talking, what are they saying? Allow yourself to reconnect with the actual experience. And what the worst part of this is for you. The R of rain is to just pause and recognize, okay, something is happening and take note of whatever stands out most for you. Notice the inner voice. Is it being critical? Are there feelings of distress, anxiety, shame, agitation, maybe fear? Perhaps criticism accompanied with a sense of numbness. To recognize, it really helps to whisper that you're aware. You can name it as fear or self-aversion or self-judgment. You're welcome to whisper it. Allowing is just what it sounds like. Sort of letting whatever is coming up to be there because of the flow of the moment. It's like saying, okay. This belongs right in this moment, acknowledging the reality without pushing it away.
whispering perhaps, let me just find the way to allow space for what has been for so long. gently moving into the eye of investigation and this by bringing a gentle curious awareness to your body what does this feel like or how does this feel in my body what am i believing right now that i'm a bad person am i believing that i am inherently flawed that i'll never change it's just who i am perhaps believing that others will reject me or that no one can possibly respect me. And if nothing arises, that's okay too. Perhaps let your attention turn to where the feelings are strongest now in the body. If you believe you're a failure and that you're flawed in some way, what might that feel like in your body? Sensing into your throat, chest, or belly. And if you're in the mood to place your hand there where you feel strongly, Invite whatever is there just to come forward in your body where you're feeling something. If self-judgment arises or you're feeling aversive, let that be felt in your body. If it helps, you can ask yourself, where am I unwilling to feel? Take a deep breath and visualize sending healing energy to your entire body. Letting yourself release and reflect. What is this part of me that feels terrible? or vulnerable.
What does it need most? How does it want me to be with it? Does it need to be seen, to be understood, to be cherished, perhaps loved, forgiven, accepted? Trusted, accompanied, protected, what will be most soothing and perhaps call on whatever power you feel might be able to help in this moment. Nurturing yourself in awareness and placing a hand on your heart to soften into the moment. To be gentle. Sending healing energy to your inner light. Letting your spiritual self send this energy to your human side. Soothing. Offer yourself compassion. Forgive yourself. And if it's helpful to frame a sentence and whisper it out, if it's difficult to send yourself healing words of comfort, that's okay too. Stay with that. And let this healing light bathe you. Like when rain passes, blossoms spring forth. And after the rain, sense if you're a little more light. A little more open. A little more grounded. Perhaps more presence able to feel a little more joyful. Before we end today's meditation, I'd like to invite you to set an intention to take care of yourself in the same gentle, kind manner as you would take care of what's most precious to you.
when you're ready, please gently rub your palms together, making them warm. Cup them over your eyes and thank yourself for making this time for yourself today. You're welcome to count down backwards from five to one and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Namaste.